sunburnt. My foundation looks a lot lighter than my shoulders because I am sunburnt. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of vlogging. I've actually got a beauty blogger event this afternoon with Maybelline New York. So they are releasing a bunch of new products into 2018. Oh my god, it's almost 2018. So they have invited me along to come and check out some of the new products that they will be releasing onto the market, plus get a masterclass from the Maybelline makeup artist king himself, Nigel Stanislaus. So that will be really exciting and I figured I would get my camera out and take you guys along with me so you can get a sneak peek of these new releases before they hit Priceline and hit Target and I just thought it would be fun. I haven't vlogged in a little while and I've missed it a ton, so... That's what I'm going to be doing. And then after the event, I am also going to Chadston because one of my friends hooked me up with a friends and family like ticket to a homewares sale. So we'll see whether I actually film any of that or not, just because I don't know whether I'll actually be allowed to. And then I'm having dinner with my mom and my brother, which will be really nice. So shall we get going? Let's go. Oh, actually, before we head off, I did want to say a big thank you to everyone watching this video who has supported me on my YouTube journey because I hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> I didn't think I would hit 500 in the first year of being on YouTube. I started, I think, at the end of February, the beginning of March, and it was kind of my goal to hit 500 by the end of 2017 but I just didn't really think that would happen and then it did so it is like the end of November and the fact that I have managed to achieve my goal not only like actually achieve it but achieve it early is it's such a good feeling. So thank you so much to everyone who has supported me on my YouTube journey, has watched my beauty videos, my vlogs and my trip to Japan series. It's just you're giving me major warm and fuzzies, so thank you so much. Here's to 1,000. So if you're watching this video and you aren't subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that red button. Okay, that's enough like being sentimental. <laughs> Let's go. Just a quick snapshot of what I'm wearing. I've just got this sort of off-the-shoulder loose jumpsuit because it's so hot. So I am heading to the L'Oreal head office in uh, sort of just outside of the city. I have been to a bunch of events there before for a few of their different brands like NYX and Garnier and well Maybelline and L'Oreal before as well so you'd think I would know the way but if you know me in person you know that I'm also pretty hopeless when it comes to directions so Google Maps it is 30 minutes okay so I'm gonna be there a little bit early but that's fine because I've got to find a car park starting route to LRL headquarters <laughs> To LRL but I just hope I can find a car park because it's at their head office in the city and last time I went there I actually got a parking ticket because it was really stormy and I think when I put my ticket on the dashboard the wind when I closed the door just sort of blew it under my seat which was a pain and I tried to contest it but they wouldn't let me so I'm gonna make sure that I put my parking ticket on correctly today because I do not want another fine <laughs> I have made it. I'm parked outside at the L'Oreal HQ. So let's get that parking ticket and let's head up. There, firmly displayed. Sorry about the leaf floor in the background, but I am just walking to the L'Oreal building right now. Here, and I don't know which lens to look at, but this is Jenny, guys. You guys know her, she's always in my vlogs. We were at, you, you guys have already met. We were at the Maybelline event now. Yes. We are sitting front row, so we literally got the better view. We are the keen being A plus masterclass students. I'm gonna get it for the vlog. Time to choose the stage, the chair, and give it a roll. Burgundy is one of the most versatile color. I think it's very classy. We have the burgundy bar. Now, I had a sneak peek at this before. This is a beautiful color. It is. It's, um, it's so universal. It's, it goes from casual to glamour. So what we've got over here in this back corner is this selfie flat lay studio setup. Hashtag Maybelline AU. And then we're going to be checking the entries through the evening. 
and win that award. One lucky winner, a huge prize. This is Adriana with her flat lay. Right, I gotta make sure my. Oh, maybe like this would look cool. So I'm trying to put a flat lay together, but I'm flat laying under pressure. And like, it's not my best one. <laughs> this is what I'm currently working with. I don't think the flowers quite work, but hey, it's cute. Oh, Jenny, Jenny good? We were also lucky enough to track down the only one in the country of the Gigi Hadid pack that we were talking about. So yeah, during the break, I gave Gigi a call. And no, I didn't talk about the <laughs> She private jet in the, um, the new palette. The only one in Australia. The just only one in you. Australia. So there's a million dollar insurance on this. So. <laughs> Guys, I just finished at the event and they gave us a little goodie bag of some of the new releases coming out so I might do a little bit of an unbagging when I get home tonight. The event was really good. I got to catch up with all of my friends and Nigel Stanislaus and Jasmine Howell of Friend in Fashion. They both presented and did some like interviews and a masterclass and they were just so funny to watch on stage. It was really entertaining and they did a really good job. For now it is time to head to Chadston to meet up with my mum and my brother because we're going to do some decor shopping so the day is not over but like I said earlier I might not film but either way I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the end of the night so I'll see you soon that camera stays balanced. This background's cute. I'm actually filming from my bed right now. Maybe I should do this, do this again because I actually really like the way it looks. <laughs> hey guys, I'm home now. I just got back from Chadston where I went to that home decor and the sort of kitchenware sale and having dinner with my family, which was really nice. It was good to see them. I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up at the sale, as well as the goodie bag that I got from the Maybelline event a little bit earlier. The sale I went to was at Wheel and Barrow. It was their friends and family sort of discount night. So I got 30% off everything in store, which was really nice. I didn't actually buy all that much though. I was going in there thinking that I was gonna get like a bunch of things and then I came out with this little bag. But I did go with my mum, so I did buy some stuff for her for Christmas, but she's taken that with her. I only got a couple of things. The first thing I got was a wooden spoon because I don't have one and every time I go to cook something that needs a wooden spoon, I'm like, oh, I need a wooden spoon, so I have a wooden spoon. Also got this little tea strainer. So I have a ton of loose leaf tea in my pantry and I just, I can't, motivate myself to use it because I don't know it's just it's a hassle to sort of like get a tea strainer out and clean it and all that stuff and it makes a mess and so I got this little guy um, which has a little tea strainer on the top and then a stand at the bottom to catch any drips or anything like that I just thought that was really handy and easy to clean 
So yeah, I'm such a nana, you know, wooden spoon and some tea stuff. This is a little bit more home decor -y. I just picked up these two little dishes. These guys here, they're just really cute. But I got a blue one and a jade green one. I just thought they'd be nice to put trinkets in or, um, you know, serve chocolates in when I have guests over. I just thought they were cute and they're only $6, so... But that is all I got from Wheel and Barrow. My mum bought a lot more, but I'm happy with my little haul. So next, let's go through the goodie bag from Maybelline. So I haven't actually looked in here yet. I don't know what's in here, but sounds like there's a lot of stuff in here. Well, let's have a look what's inside. Yes. First, we've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I actually already have one of these guys. I don't really wear a lot of mascara because I get my eyelash extensions done, but... I will definitely keep it handy just because I've got short Asian eyelashes and they just mascara doesn't tend to do a whole lot for them. Next, oh, this is one of the new things. This is the Maybelline Master Prime with Hyaluronic Acid. So this just hydrates for smoother looking skin. I like the sound of that. So we did get some of the color correcting concealers. It looks like I've got the yellow and the lavender ones. So this is the Master Camo by Face Studio color correcting pen. So that is what they look like there. From memory, from the demonstration, there were four in the range. So there is the yellow one, and there is a lavender one, there's a green one, and then there's a peachy colored one. So this guy is good for dull skin. So if your foundation is a bit flat, you can use this to sort of brighten it up. Blue is for sallowness. So if you're looking a bit sickly, you can add a bit of blue. I don't know if you guys can see, maybe I'll unwrap one, but the applicator is really interesting so that is the applicator there it's this funny little like sponge curvy nib which i guess you would just sort of pop under your eyes or something like that so that's really interesting i haven't tried anything like that before next we've got the brow precise fiber filler so this is a brow mascara with fibers in it so i guess it's going to be kind of like the benefit gimme brow and this is in the shade medium brown let's open it up Oh, okay, that's really interesting. If you guys have seen Stranger Things, then it kind of looks like one of the petals on a Demogorgon's face. <laughs> I don't know, is that the weirdest description ever? You see what I mean? So I guess you just sort of brush this onto the brow. I don't know, that's interesting. I will say Maybelline do make good brow products though. If you have seen my last video, I'll link it in the description if you guys haven't seen it yet. I did a first impressions on a bunch of new makeup, including the new Maybelline brow tattoo and Oh my god, that stuff is amazing. I have been using it every two to three days to sort of touch up my brows and just... Oh, I love it. They need to make something like that for eyelashes. <laughs> Next, we've got the Maybelline Curvitude Liner. So this is a liquid eyeliner. I'm guessing it's in the same range as the Lash Sensational because of the packaging. So it's a curvy liner. So I don't know if you guys can see that little like bit just there in the corner. But it's actually got almost like a drill-shaped tip which is really interesting i haven't tried anything like that before and then the liner itself is like kind of slanted and then the one we've all been waiting for the burgundy bar palette this looks so pretty look at that they're all shimmery oh so pretty if you want to grab a burgundy bar palette for yourself, they did tell us at the event that it's only going to be available from chemist warehouse online and i think it's going to be available from tomorrow so by the time this video goes up it should already be out for you guys to go buy but until then it won't be available officially until january next year so if you're keen hit up chemist warehouse online and if i don't get this video up in time and it sells out i'm sorry <laughs> So I think that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming along to the Maybelline event with me and sort of seeing all the stuff that I picked up. There is a bunch of new releases coming out really soon. So keep your eyes peeled at Priceline and Target and Chemist Warehouse. Like I said at the beginning of the video, thank you so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. It's a small step, but it's a really big milestone for me and it, it means a lot. So thank you so much. And if you're not already subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button below to... Uh, join my little YouTube community. I would love it if you did that. And I think that's it. So I will catch you in the next video, guys. So I'll see you then. Bye. Ooh.